Welcome to the chaotic world of Karen Go Burr. In today's lineup, witness the unbelievable as Karen experiences a surprise wardrobe malfunction post brawl with the wrong passengers. A racist Karen in an unexpected plot twist expects assistance after hurling a racial slur. The airport saga unfolds with Karen losing it for no reason. Classic Karen behavior or a bizarre airport musical? Newly released body cam footage shows a racist Karen orchestrating a full-blown racist rant. And to top it off, two Karens engage in a senseless argument over a dog. Let's get to it. Starting this video voyage on a positive note where a hero among us educates a Karen who was previously terrorizing unsuspecting employees in the subtle art of basic courtesy. You guys are McDonald's. Yeah. You guys are McDonald's. Okay? You guys are McDonald's. Okay. Any of the restaurant in Fresno? Yeah. But they're you though. They are you. Well, you should care. You should have more respect. Who are you? It doesn't matter. You come here, you're cussing at everybody. It's almost heartbreaking that basic decency has to be taught, but hey, kudos to our knight in shining armor for stepping up. As she sauntered out, there was a collective exhale of relief from the employees, courtesy of that chivalrous hero. Now, a male Karen dishing out directives on camera angles to a woman while taking aggression to a whole new level. I have cameras too, okay? And I know the, the range, I know the range, and we have kids up there. And it, there's not supposed to be any cameras in the backyard, that's your safe place. You have cameras in the house, in front of your house. Well, because they're pointing towards my house. You know what? You shouldn't have been here with kids. How about that? What do you mean? You're in a 55 community. Did it you doesn't forget? matter, ma'am. It does not matter, ma'am. Did you forget? It doesn't matter. What if a parent takes kids into a neighborhood like this. What do you mean? It's not a safe neighborhood for kids? Is that what you're trying to say? You're coming to me with your problem. No, I'm coming because cause the cameras are pointing to my house that I have young kids. His indigenous suggestion? She should point her security cameras at herself. A perplexing twist in this nonsensical saga. You know what? Why don't you have them on the other side point towards your house? You have a lot of nerve coming here to tell me how to mount my cameras. Yes, because they're pointing. I don't feel safe that you're pointing them towards oh, my house. Call the cops and see if it's illegal. I don't think so. Ma'am. No. I'm trying to be friendly because we're neighbors, okay? I really am. I'm just asking if you can move them to the other side to point them to your pool, not towards my house. That's all I'm asking. First of all, you don't even know what you're talking about. I do know, no, man. you don't. Sorry. We're not moving on camera. If I were her, I'd probably be on the line with the authorities faster than you can say unhinged. Yet another racist Karen, who in an unexpected plot twist, expects assistance after hurling a racial slur. Are they both being nice to you, not me? Woman? I feel that, but you can't say things like that. And I apologize, didn't I? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you apologize. You said it two Does times and you came you out and told me what your parents, your parents would have called me and, and, and this and that. I don't give a Told you I went to school with black people. It doesn't matter. They don't give you the right to say the N-word. Well, then you can leave. Who knew dropping the N-word could lead to such a sticky situation where assistance is requested? Kudos to the brave soul refusing to serve her. But my t my stuff is not coming off your truck. Ooh. 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 Right off this truck, lady. Get your clown. Ooh. 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 Coming off my truck, period. Racist Ooh. lady. Don't. We don't move racist people anyway. I'm not racist. Yeah, all right. Honey, I moved you to the crib. And I lived on the crib. I lived in 24th and 4th. I know what the crib is. <laughs> <laughs> She's the queen who's decreed. Don't serve people like her. Let her learn some life lessons. Our next act, Walmart employees revealing their not-so-hidden racist agenda, asking kids to vacate, citing alleged disruption, all while their mom is conveniently absent. Over here looking at some, he walks by, sees us, then he asks us to leave, and we're telling him why. And he said, for down or something, 
And then we was like, no, our mother's in the bathroom. We're waiting on her to be done using the bathroom. And he was like, but y'all need to get out or y'all need to be watched by a parent or guardian. And I'm like, okay. He's an adult. He's 19. We're waiting for her to just be done using the bathroom. And then when I came out, I asked him, I said, you have a problem with him? Yeah, you need to come over here so we can come have a conversation. Absolutely not. Not with that tone. You're not going to talk to me like that. I pay you in the store all the time. All the time. You're not going to talk to my kids like that. You're not going to talk to me like that. Period. They haven't done anything. Three cheers for the mom who, in the face of adversity, stands tall, defending her children against the peculiar ire of Walmart employees. We literally just came in here, haven't been in here 15 minutes, went to the bathroom, and here he is. What he Whoever said, else. There was a disruption in the bathroom when he was using There was it. one little boy in the bathroom. Him. He's eight. So if you heard joking and laughing, depending on what kind of joking and laughing he's talking about, I mean, they weren't, even if they're joking and laughing, they're kids. Joking and laughing? Are you serious? So who's, how are you going to be upset at kids laughing not, and joking? We're not, we're not upset with nobody. We, we didn't see what was going on. We didn't hear it. We're just here to follow up. Based on his BS, and you're asking for a manager. But asking them to leave if they're just looking at stuff and they're laughing and joking, you made an assumption right that they were doing something they had no business doing. Because I asked him, I said, do you have a problem with them? And he's like, yeah, you need to come over here and have a conversation. I said, okay, well, you can watch your tone. No, he didn't. Yeah, well, I apologize. I'll follow up with the supervisor. You can laugh and talk all you want in the store. Like I said, if you yeah. were throwing stuff around and stuff like that. I then I would have corrected them yeah, and that, sent them, you know what I mean? This we have all the right in the world to laugh and talk. Yeah. All right. I mean, if they were doing wrong. And we got an upset customer. I'm sorry and I, mean, I apologize for everything. Yeah. This um, we're going to continue to shop. This is my favorite Walmart. We're going to continue to shop. You'll have your bad apples, but yeah, he needs to check his phone. You can't talk to people like that. Thank you. everybody. Come on, let's go. The lady deserves an award for handling those Karens. Hollywood should take notes. Prepare yourself for an airborne showdown where an elderly flight attendant becomes the sage diplomat, skillfully diffusing a squabble over seats. I don't know those guys. What's that supposed to mean? Because I'm flat. That's what it is. Just, Man, Matt, said, sir. Sir, just a second. Hold on, hold on a second. Okay. I need to get this flight out. Okay. So we need to get our stuff together here. I, uh, I'm holding this plane. Whoever is in the yard uh, with uh, the problem. What's this to do the problem? So you tell me first. She is the problem. I was sitting out right here. I came down and I had my charger put in right here. She came up for my charger. And then look, look at it. Okay. What is it you did, problem? I asked him to get up because he wanted me to call the cops to get in my seat. So I asked him if they get up, and I didn't feel comfortable crawling across their legs. So they got up. She's going to switch seats to me. I have no problem with that arrangement. Yeah, let's get going. Handling it like a seasoned pro, he shuts down Karens who think they own the plane. Thank you. Thank you very much. I wish I had thought of it. And you is one. Sir, sir, sir. Everybody on the Let's come down now. We got it all squared away. Sir, can I help you? I'm waiting for her to get in. Okay, all right. I got your pocket. Shut up. 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 Shut Ma'am, you're 30 seconds from getting off the plane. I am not, no, 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 I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, okay? I need to get this fly out. We're going to have to lighten up, all right? If I hear anything else, you're coming off. It's just simple. No, ma'am, I don't want to hear it. Kudos to him for not allowing the Karens to get their way. A true sky superhero soaring above the turbulence. Even elderly Karens are part of the script? A grandma Karen hitting someone and lying to justify it. The audacity unfolds like an Oscar-worthy drama. You punched me in the eye and the back. You're she so seen this. You know that you the did. Right? Yes, you did. You like to call the cops? Too much. Too. Are you going to lie to a cop? Are you going to lie to the cop like you're lying to us? Do you think that I wasn't standing right here and so was my brother and so was Al? Yes, you hit him. Are you crazy? Punching someone and then lying about it. An apology would be a decent start. And he threatened to beat After he threw my dog down the hill? Yes, that's win. Do it again. I got you on video right now, you, you crazy bitch. Bitch. You're going to jail. Hell. You're full of Hell. shit. Really? Okay. You leave us alone, we will leave you alone. And I got you just hit him too, so try again. You are abusive. You're abusive and violent and you leave us alone now, I will not report you. But if you keep on with this, you're going to jail. Cops are going to love it. Yes, I did! Major respect to the lady defending her brother. She becomes a formidable shield against the impending storm of Karens. A Karen losing it at the airport for no apparent reason? Classic Karen behavior, or a bizarre airport musical. Take a stand, everybody, come take my hand this world together, through the rain, I'm a queen. Let's bring a little Detroit to 
Town, a little bit of Radiohead. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Dirty cock right there. Go ahead, pull your gun and put a bullet through my head. I'm not afraid to take this. Why, why, why don't you guys have body cameras? Call King County DEA, the head chief. He's the one that's going to track all those sexual girls that were trafficked right there on that plane. An endless Rambo echoing through the airport. The tale of a Karen who just won't stop. They're going to club. You want me to name the club? <sighs> Deja Vu? Everybody, there's girls from that plane going to Club Deja Vu to dance. That are being trafficked from around the world. Hashtag taken! Everybody! Don't take my hand this way, we'll take together! Will someone finally step up and hit the mute button? The fate of fellow travelers hangs on the balance. Hold on to your seats. Another Karen tries breaking into someone's home. A literal crime in progress, starring the burglar Karen in a suspenseful act. I don't have to threaten you with any f***ing weapon. Like I told the cops, I ain't leaving until you give me my cat. So you're gonna fight me. You're threatening me right now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna beat the out of you. Night from jail, girl! Not from jail. You need to get off my property. You need to leave the property. Well, if it was registered, that might make sense. You need to leave. The drama unfolds as she escalates from verbal threats to violent gestures, blissfully ignorant that it's all caught on camera. Her ticket to a few nights in the slammer. I'm about to break the basic thing and just get him from there. Give it to me now! Not your f***ing property, it's mine! The homeowner's retort is gold. Why demand a cat so violently after initially denying ownership? Who knew demanding a cat could be so theatrical? Cue another racist Karen, this time orchestrating a full-blown racist rant by the pool, starring in the Karen Chronicles, a tale of unsubstantiated claims. But I asked, so here's all I did. Here's all I did. I was right here, um, and see the Louis Vuitton guy? He's the one who started it off. Okay. Uh, I said to him, I said, I said, um, do you have a fob? Because that's what everyone's saying. It's not just me. Other people are living there asking for people to fob. with the big group over there? Right, but I said you're only allowed to have two people. Yeah. Meanwhile, the whole pool is filled with a party. These people don't... They don't have a fob. You're only allowed to have two guests, not yeah. 20. Sure. So we're over here, mind you. This whole crew over here comes over, bomb rushes me. I had two girls trying to kill me, so I tried to defend myself, but my phone is gone. And I recorded everything, and they probably have my phone. Who has your phone? We don't know. In a twist of irony, the Karen spins a web of lies about theft on an iPhone, showcasing a masterclass in misinformation. Someone took my phone because I recorded the whole thing. What kind of phone was it? Uh, it was an iPhone, the smaller one, not the big one. Seven or? Um, I don't know. Okay. How um, much it did had it cost like you? A, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. But okay. I'm just saying, I put it on record and I was recording the whole thing and they took my phone. They're okay. lying. They're thieves. They come here. They don't belong here. They don't pay for this pool. Okay. We pay for all the what amenities. What is your name? My name is Blair. Just, I mean, ultimately, they've they've got a civil policy, a couple of guests right. per resident. This party needs to end. They need to leave. So that's where we're at on that. This is. Look at them. They're all over me. They were all over. No, they, they came yeah, over we're, this we're way. We're here, and they came all they, over. They us. think it's a racist and thing, which sucks these days. It's but not you racist. Know what? You get it too. Yeah. I mean, it's no, not I'm racist. sure you do. You it's know, horrible. It was just Look, we guys pay a lot of Oh my god, you it's, can see all of them me. over me. No, keep playing. Uh, you know, I know a cop. And like, this is BS. Okay. These guys it, attacked me. Well, I just need to prove the assault. That's what I'm trying to do here. Yeah. Okay? I've so, got videos so, of someone standing. That's not a crime. I have to 
write this up to a DA who's going to look at it, right? Yeah. That's when the attack started. Right? Who is this? That's that's those people attacking her. She's you know, sitting can you, here. Can you testify who did this? The guy oh in the black God, shirt that, is, that? that has the tank top. Yeah, he's attacking her. I think he's gone. I think he's gone. Somebody saw Blair pulling a There's two sides. Backwards. We're telling theirs. Parker hair, okay? Thank oh, yeah, you. And, and then the other females. I've heard that about 15 Blair. times since I've been here. Oh, I have for a phone and then smacked the face of a female that was recording her. That's the information that I received. No, so I figured I'd give you guys benefit down. Ask you guys. Okay, okay, so I'm going to tell you what happened. Yeah. Yeah. As the saga continues, Karen digs herself into a deeper hole involving the authorities and the circus of denial persists. Okay. I have an independent witness that is one on one basis with the district manager here that said you were saying racist stuff, instigating everything, blowing it up, and then when they confronted you, you couldn't handle it. Oh, that's not true. Well, we're going to review the cameras tomorrow when they come in. I'm going to talk to Wyatt. Okay. And, I, and I'll see what happens. When yes, ma'am. When someone attacks you when you're on your back, they will know that by any. Am I not allowed to try and defend myself? You are. Other yeah, than absolutely, my you are. That's why no one's off? getting a ticket right now until we know, until we can see what happens. Do you? And then you, you guys you, know too. Did There's you get, I'm sorry, did you get there Still trying to justify a futile attempt to salvage a sinking ship, but the audience has already seen through the facade. You can't smack someone and then play the victim. In a spectacular clash of Karens, we witness a circus unfold as two engage in a senseless argument over a dog, a true carnival of chaos. I'm trying to keep my track. Okay, you can do that. I'm trying to go home. I just did it work. Like, you don't need to swear at me because your dog, talk to your dog. As a neighbor, you need to walk away. As a neighbor, no, I don't. You should be able to control your dog. The door. And I'm no. literally right here. You're being weird. You need to exit the door. You can go now. I mean, I have a lot going on here. You, oh. need, you need to be normal. You it's need to be normal. You literally just told me to back the f up. I'm going to my home. Okay, and that's not how you speak to people. You could literally have said. No. I'm going to send this to the office because this is ridiculous. I live here. I am literally trying to. Go. You can go. Is he attacking you? Did I say he was? You acted like he was going to attack me. I said hi to him. He ran up on me. Two hands, buddy. Okay, and two and hands. And a door cram. Okay, I you can get there. Understand? Yes, that. and you started hollering at me and out. screaming at me, so and now I'm recording. I got a broken Okay, foot. that's between you and your broken foot, man. Yeah, and then the okay. office already knows that. Okay, so you don't need to cuss at me. Okay, can you please go? I'm what? trying to go home. You want me to go with the broken foot? You dumb there's stairs over there. <laughs> Please hurry up. I'm literally I'm just trying to get home. You want to start? Go to the stairs. I'm going to send this to the office because this is unacceptable. A cacophony of clashing opinions as the two Karens, each with their unique brand of absurdity, debate over trivial matters, sparing no thought for the poor dog caught in the crossfire. This foot is actually back here. I swear to God. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry for you, but um, the way you just disrespected me for no reason. You? You're a piece of, like, this is not happening. You, I literally was just trying to go home. I literally got off of a long shift. I'm Walk trying to go home. Stairs. I had a fractured foot. Calm sense. Walk up. How am I supposed to know that there's a person with a fractured this, foot getting on this, this elevator? This is signs all over here. Is your now all I was trying to do is get on the elevator. You mm -hmm. told me to back the fuck up. So I'm just confused. I'm definitely bringing this to the office because this is unacceptable. I should not be tre being treated this way in a place that I live by someone else who lives here too. I swear to God, are we doing this? Can you back up off of me? Because if you put your hands on me, I'm going oh, to call the police on you. Go on I'm trying to go. Please back up. I'm a government. I do not care. But if you put your hands on me, I'm going to call the police. Yes, Can you right see right this? Do you see this? Yeah, I'm going to call the police. You should go. Can somebody stand here with me, please? Go. This girl's like a great. Like she's, I'm. She's making me nervous. She's lunging at me with her dog. Please stop. What is Please stop. I'm trying to go home. I'm lunging at you with your dog. Did she not? Did you? Am I talking my dog? Like, um, I have the whole video. You've been. I've been just trying to go home. This is bad. This is really bad. This is super bad. You're causing a disturbance. We live here. Everybody lives here. This is bad. I'm just trying to go home. Thank you. You're not going in there. Yes, I am. And if you touch me, I'm going to call the police on you. No. You want to go more? All right, well, I'm going to, I'm calling the police now. Stay there. Okay, I'm, I'm going to call the police now. Picture this, a concerned resident contemplating calling the authorities for both noise disturbance and potential animal neglect. And what's a Karen video without the classic property line saga? A Karen argues relentlessly over territory that isn't hers, completely undeterred by logic or documents. This side of the fence is my side of the fence. You can't claim the right to put your bricks on my side. I put my fence inside the property line. No, actually, 
No, you know, I have a survey that fence, shows. Your fence is on my property. I have a lawyer. Ma'am, your fence is on my property. They cross. No. Yeah, they are. Well, you know what? I, I, I'm saying I you just can't put stuff in. staked the yard way out there. No, ma'am, that's not a, that's not an accurate statement. I have I have a measurement have by a survey, survey company. Too. Well, then, can you show me the survey? Keep bringing it out and show me. I'll shut up. If you have a legal document that shows, I'll show. I will can compare the two and That's how resolve this in a reasonable, with the with the reasonable legal document. way. Okay, I, okay, I'm not okay. And can I'll you just show me it? And there is. I mean, I can go get mine. Can you there go get yours? There are 12 inches of space between my fence and the property line. No, that's not accurate. Well, it is accurate. Can you? Sh I, I'm just asking you to show me the document. I'm not going upstairs and go through all my stuff because I've been going through my stuff and I'm not going to go upstairs and do anything right now. Mm. The Karen's futile attempts to stake a claim without evidence reveal a desperate play for dominance, a futile effort against the backdrop of truth. Well, then, then don't make a claim if you can't support it. That's all I'm saying. And there's I've a, already supported there's a it. I put the metal marker in here somewhere. I was there. Then I'm going to find it. It is where it is. All I'm saying, there's a metal staker in the ground. Your I'm going to find it. My face. <laughs> Home, mind your own business. I don't know how I'm in your face. I'm I'm you're on my own property. Me. You're on my yeah, property right I'm now. I'm not on your property. Ma'am, you're on my property. You know what? I'm just going to call the police and let it handle it this yes, way. Yes, yes, yes. You're going to call the police and they're going to do what? It, well, all right. Have a good day. Thank you. You are right now. That's accurate. I am on my property anyway. Ma'am, I'm I'm on my side of the fence here. There's no fence, but is this what you want to argue about? And you protect my property. I want to. I want you to stay on your side of mine. Me stay on mine. Do whatever you think you need to do. Oh, that's what I was doing. I was trying to find the marker so there's no denying. Um. Okay. I can use this. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about, but I can use this. All right. There's my gift. Okay. Enter the heroes of the tale, the police, who, armed with reason and authority, bring an end to the Karen's property line theatrics, a classic Karen shutdown. In an unexpected twist, we find ourselves amidst the chaos of Karen cops, convinced of their infallibility showing up at the wrong address. Everything all right? We just got back from the grocery store. All right. Phone. Can I have your name? No. Nope. Giselle? Giselle what? Don't tell me the last name. Why? Because we have to do a report on this. Yeah, but yeah, that's not a criminal report. We don't. We have the right to not incriminate no, ourselves. I, listen, sir. Every domestic call that comes over, by state law, the police have to do a domestic incident report. Yeah, right? but you don't have to. You gotta. You gotta have enough proof that we're the ones. No, that it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Anytime the words domestic dispute comes over the radio, we have this by state law. Maybe? The police have to do a report. Yeah, but you gotta. You don't know if it was on us or the people upstairs. No, so. it was apartment one. This address? Yes. yes. Nobody made that call here. I was in, it wasn't us. If he's only helping that simple, you Yeah, I just, no, I just told him we don't need help, and he's trying to go with the questions. That's all I... Uh, no, I know you guys are doing your job and everything, but I don't have to give you guys my personal information and everything. I don't have to... Despite explanations and clarification, the Karen cops remain steadfast in their misguided mission, proving that arrogance can be a blinding force. You just heard the address come over the radio. 57 Chestnut, all right? There's a re rhyme and a reason why we knocked on the door and window. No one was answering. We were trying to get in touch with you because, to met, like I said before, and I said it again, you can look at your video. I said it probably about six or seven times. The state looks highly on domestic incidents. You have to let you, know, you wouldn't know either if we didn't open the door. You don't have to open the door either. We opened the door because you guys went downstairs oh, banging. All right. So you guys are right, looking for you somebody you downstairs. Do? You have yourself a good day. You have a good day. I hope you have a great day, whatever you're doing, all right? Thank you, sir. I don't shake hands. I oh, you don't. Okay, that's all cool right. enough. In a final act of bewildering obstinacy, the Karen cops persist at the wrong apartment, further exemplifying the need for humility and common sense in their chosen profession. And now, brace yourselves for the grand finale, a multitude of Karens engaging in a relentless battle over an airline seat, showcasing resilience unparalleled in the annals of Karen history. In a crescendo of chaos, these Karens persist, their unwavering determination for dominance reaching new heights. <laughs> In a world where seats become battlegrounds, we witness the tenacity of the Karen spirit, an indomitable force in the face of reason.
Thanks for braving the Karen storm with Karen Go Burr. Today, we witnessed jaw-dropping moments from a surprise wardrobe malfunction to a racist Karen expecting help post-slander. The chaos continued with an airport meltdown and a shocking racist rant. Not to forget the carnival of chaos between two Karens arguing over a dog. Don't miss out on more wild episodes. Like, subscribe, and stay amused.